Hi everyone, welcome back to the Trust Artist channel. For this video, I have a fashion slash clothing haul for you guys. And I quickly wanted to make a disclaimer. I normally don't really shop a lot at normal stores, if you could say so. I often uh, shop at thrift stores, but now with the quarantine, everything is closed or most thrift stores are closed. So I did some shopping online at H&M and C&A. I don't know if C&A is a Dutch store or if it is very common around the world, but it is in the Netherlands and I nor don't normally shop there, but my husband needed new jeans. So I thought, let's take a look what they have on the website. And I was quite surprised. Izzy is in the room here as well. So you might hear some nails on the floor. Hopefully she will be quiet and I can film this video. Starting off with H&M and this beautiful dress. It is so spring and summery. I love it. I think it is a linen blend. I try to look for more uh, natural fibers because I think it's better like linen or cotton. So this is how the dress looks on. I quite like it actually. I really like this dress. It is really spring and summery. I like the elastic at the back. What is also nice is that you can change the straps as well. So that is cool. I love that it isn't see-through, it actually has lining, so that is really nice. I think this one will be a keeper. It will be cute with white sneakers or the sandals that I bought as well. This dress is really nice quality-wise. It has a little button here as well, so it won't gap here. And yeah, I really like it. Next up is this cardigan of H&M. This is from the Conscious line, so it is 52% recycled polyester from post-consumer waste. That is great, but I would love to find a cardigan that is more uh, of natural fiber, but I can't really find that other than wool cardigans, and I find those really itchy. The fabric is really soft, I like that. I like the balloon sleeves and that it is a bit longer. I don't know if it is flattering on me though, but I have been looking for something like this for a while now because I really like wearing a t-shirt and layering and stuff, but finding a nice cardigan that suits you well is quite difficult in my opinion. I'm not sure if I will keep this or not. Let me know what you think. I also bought this beautiful camel dress. I like it because it has a v-neck and I think that looks the best on my body type. Ooh, I actually really like this dress. I think the color looks flattering, the v-neck looks flattering. It is quite low though, but I like it. It also has a split on one side. I think I would have preferred if there wasn't a split, but I like that the sleeves are long enough because I am 180, so like six foot or something. So it is hard to find clothes that fit me right. It is really tight though, so you can see every little roll, but also the clothing you wear underneath. So. Make sure that you wear seamless underwear if you don't want any lines. Talking about seamless underwear, I also bought these two hipsters. It came in a pack. I always buy my underwear from H&M because I know my size there. And I also really love their seamless line. I also have these in white and more nude, but then in the string version? I don't think that is in the thong version, I remember. Um, so yeah, the, those are completely seamless, you won't see them, but they do have a really nice um, yeah, bottom part. 
To go with that, I also bought this nude strapless bra. I really needed another bra because I only own two bras and a bralette. I really like the super push-up bras from H&M because I'm not well gifted in this area. I have a C, uh, B75 cup, um, just for reference. And I really like those super push-ups because it gives a, more, a bit more volume on top because I'm more uh, bottom heavy. It balances it out a bit more. There's no shame in wearing a good bra. So I can't wait to try this one. Last thing that I bought from H&M are these cute slippers. They are made out of fabric and cotton. So I thought that was really cool. And I think they will look so cute with the lemon dress. Yep, that will be so cute. I really try to shop more in a outfit kind of way so that I could really mix and match the items that I will eventually buy. I love the little bow on top and that it is made out of fabric. I don't really like the jelly um, kind of flip-flops because I always get blisters in those. I wonder if I would really wear these around and about because they are quite large in a way. My foot size is 40 for European sizes and I don't know. I don't really like flip-flops but these are cute. I don't know, I have to think about these. On to C and A. I bought this beautiful white linen dress, I believe. It is quite see-through so I wonder how this will look on. The bottom part is lined although it is still quite see-through. Ooh, this looks cute. I love the sleeves, the v-neck. I like the buttons at the front and kind of the design of the boob area. Although I think I have a lot of space there. I think I can get away with it. See-through wise, it is really see-through. I am wearing a white bra underneath right now, but I think you can still see it. And I'm also wearing a white t-shirt underneath. Personally, I would have loved if the top part was lined as well as the bottom part. I also don't really like the split in the middle, that it, it gets so high, you know. But also, I am really tall, so maybe for most people it won't be um, that high. Next up is this skirt. It is black with white polka dots and flowers with a pop of yellow. It is a really thin material, it is viscose, but it is also very light and nice for that really, really hot weather, you know? I think the skirt is a bit too formal. I think it cuts right at the wrong length, if that makes sense. I think it would be cuter if it was up to my knee and a little bit more fitted. I think it looks a bit too formal. There's a little bit too much fabric on the sides, I guess. But maybe I could change that up in a way. Make it a high-low skirt or... I don't know. I think I can do something fun with this. I am also wearing it with this top by Sena. And it is quite see-through. As you can see, I am wearing something underneath again. I do like the little frills on the edges here. I think it looks really girly, but maybe it looks a bit too girly with the skirt. So let's try it with some pants that I also ordered. A more light kind of white one in a sort of linen material and two other ones as well because I really wanted to try this style, but they might look a bit weird because I'm so tall and cargo pants are often really cropped. So I wonder how this would look. Okay, first of all, this is very weird. I popped the button and was looking for the zipper, but there's no zipper. It has elastic at the back, so I think it will fit, but at the same time, no zipper feels a bit weird. 
I'm not sure about these pants, you guys. I do really like how they look with my white sneakers, though. I think it is a really cute look. And I actually think this top suits it well because it is quite girly and the bottom is more tough or more cool in a way. So I like that. Let me know in the comments down below, keep or no keep. This is another pair of the bottoms and I wasn't quite sure if it would fit me right because I have a gap in the back, but at the front it has these strings so I can pull it tight. That is really, really nice. So it will fit me right. And if you are getting a bit bigger or a bit smaller, you can just adjust it accordingly. And I think it looks really cute with white sneakers as well. Maybe this is a keeper. This will be very, not life changing, but let's say very different from what I would usually wear. Let's try the last pair of pants. Ooh, this feels really tight. It looks good at the bum though, but maybe not so much in the crotch area. I think the other bottoms look better, but at the same time, this one looks better in a way. Can you tell that I am a person that can make up her mind? Last but not least, I have this sweater. First of all, I love the color of this sweater, but the arms are a bit too short. You know, when you pull them up, it looks a bit weird, as you can see, but I often do this anyway. You could also like wear it like this or wear it inside of your pants so it is more cropped. I actually really, really like this sweater. It is so soft. It is made out of recycled polyester as well. So it is 45% cotton. 30% polyester and 25% viscose. So although this isn't thrifted, it is made out of recycled material. So that is nice. I really have to try on all of it again to see what I will keep and what not. So the items that I will definitely keep, this cardigan, this sweater, the dress. I will try to get this dress in a smaller size, I think but I truly love it. This one was too see-through, so this is going to be returned. I really, really love this lemon dress, although I think it doesn't suit me very well. I would like to wear it with a t-shirt underneath, so my shoulders are covered, but I think it would look better um, without the t-shirt. I love the fabric though and the style of it but I think it just doesn't suit me very well so I will keep this one and return this one for the pants I love these pants I love how my booty looks in it I think this is the best one out of the three so this one is a keeper although it is quite out of my comfort zone my husband said that this one was too big so this is going back this one was also a bit see-through, so I'm not sure about that one yet. The skirt, not sure about <laughs> that one yet. I have to try uh, it out with some of my other items. Keeper, and I still have to try on this one, but I think that will be a keeper. I also forgot to tell you that these slippers are going to be returned. I felt like a grandma in these. So these are going back too, don't you think? Izzy agrees. So that was it for this video. It was quite different for me to do. Very hard actually. I don't know how these fashion gurus do this. Man, I've been filming for hours. I'm so hungry. Kelvin already ate. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna eat some dinner now and try on the bra afterwards and see what I will send back and what I will keep definitely. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!